Hey, good morning. More Medic One here, and this morning we are going to tackle this little beast here. Uh, we've got some noise inside the gearbox on an Echo Trimmer. So we're going to open this gearbox up, see if we have a bearing bad or possibly maybe a gear that's worn out. So basically it's so super simple to get it off. You just remove your through bolt and you loosen your two clamp bolts and the gearhead will just slide right off. You remember the other day we did a drive cable uh, issue on an Echo trimmer. Well, this model has the solid steel with the spline shaft on the end. You just don't have any problems out of these. To remove the cutter head, you just get you a uh, 3 16 pin punch or the tool that came with the, the weed eater. And you just come down in here and you line up the hole in the collar on the shaft. And look at all that stuff wrapped in there. And at this point, we're going to turn the head to the right to remove it. this debris will get up underneath and uh, get wrapped around the bearings cause the bearing seals to go out so I mean yeah guys y'all got to take care of this stuff here is the adapter here is more junk and here is the bearing right, guys we'll go ahead and I'm gonna blow all this out real good that way we can get our snap ring pliers down in here and get this bearing out. All righty, let's come in here with our snap ring pliers. Wiggle that snap ring out of there. So we need to pull this output shaft and bearing out. And what I like to do is just get me a couple of stacked uh, washers. I believe these are three quarter inch. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna kind of center that up there best you can. Put another little washer and we're gonna use the arbor bolt out of your head to use this to extract the bearing. Now you've got a cavity in here that's got some space and now your arbor bolt is pushing against the outer case, which will in theory pull on that shaft inside and extract this bearing and the output shaft. All right, just using an adjustable wrench we can get right on there. We're gonna hold it, and turn it to the left. I can already feel it moving. bottomed out so that means I'm going to have to add one more big washer let's just see where we're at we're almost out of there so leave our washers I'm gonna add one maybe two Center it up the best you can. Oh yeah, didn't take much. And 
there is our bearing and input shaft. Let's just take it out and go wash everything out real good in the parts washer. And I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, so that looks pretty good. At this point, you could just turn this over and dump that uh, drive gear out of there. What you wanna do is you wanna inspect this gear for any nicks, wear marks, especially if the top of the gear starts to knife edge over, this gear looks good. It'll whoop out in here and concave this helical cut gear. And you'd want to inspect this one as well. This bearing is okay. It's normally the head end bearing that gets a little slack in it. And the bearing that's up in this blind hole right here hardly ever goes out as well. And this bearing is good. Now there's a several ways that you can get this bearing off this shaft. You can tap it off, you can put it in a vise and beat the shaft off the bearing or vice versa. But just to keep from damage and stuff, I'm just gonna use a uh, super simple two jawed puller. And it should pull that bearing right off that shaft. Easy as pie without any damage. We always get our bearings down at the local bearing supply because the bearings that come from the factory from Echo, they just use, you know, uh, regular old bearings that you can get anywhere. So that's what we do. But the problem with these are they come sealed on both sides. And so we're gonna dig one of these seals out so that it gets lubrication whenever we reassemble it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fill the bottom portion of this gearbox with the high, the high performance gear case grease from Echo. Got to kind of put it in at an angle. Just like that right there. And then put a little bit more grease. Basically invert your puller to be a pusher. So we're just going to suck that bearing right down onto the shaft. That's good. No noise. Good to go. Now, we want to pull, I should have done it before I put it on, but I want to pull this seal out so that whenever we grease the gearhead, the grease will actually get into the uh, ball bearings. I went ahead and packed some more of the gear case grease down in there. And I put some on the outside of the bearing just to help it slide down into the case here. So basically all we got left to do is reinstall this bearing. Now to reinstall the bearing is pretty much the opposite of pulling it. Instead of creating pressure on the outside, we're going to be right on the center of the bearing this time. 
and when we put our arbor bolt on, it should just suck it right down in there. we're pushed all the way down we need as far as we need to go past the snap ring and what I like to do once we get that snap ring installed just make sure it's in the groove good I like to give it a little bump seat that bearing in because you can if you press it in too far you start uh, creating too much gear mesh and that's just about perfect right there Let's go ahead and slide the gear case on so far so good put your uh, guard back on and then slide your adapter back onto the shaft install the cutter head looks good alrighty guys I do believe we got that whining noise taken care of or two just go ahead and top off your gear case just squeeze it down in there until she's full installs a plug all righty guys we got the noise taken care of out of that little echo gearbox and if this content helped you out please give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button and while you're there click that bell so you get all my new videos anyway guys have a good rest of your week we'll see you on the next one